Hello everyone. We all are commonly friendly with the VLOOKUP function of Microsoft Excel, right? In the word VLOOKUP, the V stands for the vertical lookup. That means if we use the VLOOKUP function into this simple workbook or simple database, we are going to do it like this equals to VLOOKUP. Then it is asking for lookup value. This one will be our lookup value, comma. It is asking for the table array now and what is our table array? This one is our table array that is included into this workbook as a vertical form, right? Then using a comma now it is asking for column index number as we are searching for the commission percentage and according to this table the commission percentage column is number 2. So we are going to insert number 2 here comma and we are going to use the approximate match function so we need to use number one as true otherwise we need to use zero as false right close the parentheses hit the enter button that's all your commission percentage will automatically showed into this database right but what if your reference table stands like this one, like the horizontal? So what you are going to do when you have a table array like this in a horizontal form? So here, today I'm going to show you an interesting fact of the HLOOKUP function. HLOOKUP is an Excel function to look up and retrieve data from a specific row in table. The H in HLOOKUP stands for the horizontal where lookup values appear in the first row of the table moving horizontally to the right. HLOOKUP supports approximate match and exact matching and also the wildcards like asterisk and question mark for finding the partial matches, right? So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the commission percentage from a horizontal table. So welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel lookup series on your favorite channel, Technical Portal. This is your host Pritham and don't worry, I'll give you the link of downloading this Excel workbook into my description box. So please check that. So here in this simple workbook, or you can say database, I need to find the commission percentage according to this table. So we are going to use the HLOOKUP function into this database equals to HLOOKUP. Then it is asking for lookup value and as usual our lookup value, we are going to use the amounts, right? So insert a comma now. Now it is asking for table array. Now this one is your table array from C2 to H3. No need to select this one, right? That heading you may exclude. So don't forget to log the cell reference by pressing the F4 key from your keyboard so that whenever you copy the formula, it should not change the data range, right? So insert a common again. Now it is asking for row index number. Now what we are searching for? We are searching for the commission percentage. So this one is our row one and this is our row two. So we are going to use number two here comma now it is asking for range lookup as we are searching for the approximate match we are going to use one as true or you can use the zero as false right close the parentheses hit the enter button look at here you will get the result accurately right so if you copy the formula from upside down select the rows and press ctrl and d to copy the formula from upside down and it will show you the percentage of commission automatically now how to find the commission amount well that's so much easy you just need to multiply the amounts with commission percentage equals to this is your amount asterisk or you can say multiple operator then you need to select the commission percentage cell right and hit the enter button look at here the commission amount is here and now again if you copy the formula from upside down by pressing ctrl d it will show you the result automatically so let's check how this formula actually works when we type equals to h lookup then it is asking for the lookup value and what is it the value we are going to search for or going to look up that is called the lookup value now next is the table array what is 
the table array the table array is from the table which to retrieve the data in my case the data is from c2 to h3 now here it is asking for row index number what is the row index number it is the row numbers from which to retrieve the data in my case we need to retrieve the data from the second column note carefully that you must enter the row number according to your table not from the starting cell or starting row of your database right and what is range lookup a boolean to indicate the exact match or approximate match function default is true that means the approximate match so guys that's all hlookup searches for a value in the first row of a table at the match column it retrieves a value from the specified row right we need to use hlookup when lookup values are located in the first row of a table note that carefully use the vlookup when the lookup values are located in the first column of a table that's the different of hlookup and vlookup so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing